Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this quick retro look, we take a journey to one of my favorite games that brought me to the arcades time and time again with Konami's X-Men. Growing up as a huge fan of the Marvel Comics of the same name, I pretty much collected almost every comic related to the X-Men from X-Factor, Excalibur, and X-Force. To this day, my favorite artists were Joe Manduria, Mark Silvestri, and of course, Jim Lee. Boy, did I love anything X-Men. Growing up with the games on video game consoles, I didn't love them as much, and I was let down by a bunch of them from the OG Nintendo to the Sega Genesis. I spent the cash and really got burned with hopes of something fantastic. Then came the incredible arcade cabinet from Konami that never let me down. Coming off the fantastic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade beat-em-up action comes X-Men in the same style. This game blew my mind but never had a proper port of the game until it came 18 years later on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Amazed to see and hear that this game is being ported to the Sega Saturn, which is one of my favorite consoles of all time, plus was a virtual 2D powerhouse for its time, I wanted to see how this game came together with its demo release this year. From Hot Trucks, as a longtime member of Sega Extreme and SGDK communities, this early demo was released to play on actual hardware and emulation. I played this off my Retro Pocket 3 via emulation, but was still surprised to see this in action. You can play with either Wolverine or Cyclops for the first level, but the possibilities look great. In their attempt, no source code from the original game was involved and a lot of guesswork was implemented throughout the process. Although a bit buggy here and there, especially in hit detection, I am proud to say that this is one incredible port so far. Although very early, the detail that was put into this demo is done quite well, especially with no help and it's basically a recreation from scratch is an incredible feat in itself. I honestly had to put the game side by side with the arcade game to really tell the difference. Overall, I really can't wait to play the final version of the port as it brings back so many memories as well as putting the life back into my Sega Saturn once again. That's it for this look at the X-Men arcade game for the Sega Saturn. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Yeah. Uh.